Good afternoon. We have a few breaks of sunshine out there, but the clouds still winning out today. Live looking Roanoke with our Carillion Sky Cam again. We are locked in those clouds, but there are a few breaks. Temperatures right around 80 now. Dew points though. Yeah, it is muggy outside. They're in the lower 70s right now. Only going to pretty much hang out there over the next couple of days as we stay in this uh, pretty much tropical air mass. Satellite and radar, there's that batch of rain from earlier. It's not starting to see a few little blips on the radar there popping up in the Roanoke Valley across parts of Southside. And you can thank the breaks and the clouds for that, getting a little bit of instability churning up. And we're seeing a few of those isolated showers and storms popping. We have a nice little batch of rain moving in from West Virginia and Tennessee, getting ready to slide through the New River Valley. So tracking that throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening again, a couple minutes from now, a future tracker doing a nice job locating where the showers and thunderstorms are popping up and notice again we'll keep a few stray thunderstorms out there through the evening hours through the late afternoon early evening sitting down to dinner tonight we'll still keep a few showers but notice once we get really past eight nine o'clock we lose the sun these storm chances really go down and we're going to start to clear things out the clear skies though, the calmer winds we're going to see overnight really going to help fog to develop though. So be on the lookout for that for your morning commute tomorrow. Temperatures right around 80 now, middle 70s in Blacksburg. It is warm. It is muggy outside. Of course, it's cloudy now. We do not want the clouds next Monday. Of course, that's the big eclipse day. Here is a nationwide look. If you are driving to totality and that is going to be this thick white line there across the country where you're going to see complete darkness where the moon completely covers the sun. Anywhere you see that green right now, it's looking like it's going to be clear. Notice again, we have it set towards uh, central Virginia, DC. And again, we've got a nice little green blob there. Again, it looks like that disturbance we've been tracking going to stay towards the south. So again, if you're heading to the south, say Tennessee, especially South Carolina, we might have extra clouds down there. That's something we're going to continue to keep a close eye on. We're keeping a close eye on Hurricane Gert, too. Again, poses no threat to land, but continues to strengthen in the Atlantic right now. Looking pretty healthy. Winds maximum sustained at Category 1 hurricane strength. Going to continue to, again, head right back out to sea. So posing no threat to land, just ship traffic right now. And again, it's going to dissipate over the North Atlantic. We have several entities now. As hurricane season really starts to ramp up, we have one, two, and three now coming off of uh, the African coastline. This sky in front given a 60% chance to develop. We have a 40 or 20% chance and then another 20% chance to develop over the next five days. And again, the first one is what we're concerned with first, of course. And again, in this zone heading towards the Lesser Antilles, towards the Caribbean Sea a 60% chance to turn into our next name system, which would be Harvey. Locally, scattered thunderstorms out there. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s tonight. That rain shuts off a few showers early in the evening. Temperatures back into the upper 60s. 88 on Wednesday, just a slight chance for a pop-up storm, but most of us really dry out for a day. Better chance for scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon on Thursday and Friday. Very slight chance on Saturday. Most of us stay dry for the weekend. And on Monday, of course, Patrick, we all know we've heard so much about it over the past really month or two. We're keeping a close eye on Monday right now. It looks like we're going to have some sunshine to see the eclipse. But again, we're tracking that disturbance good. in the south very, very closely. And if it moves a little bit, that could change things. It could change things. Stay tuned, keep as they say. Crossed. You got Seven it. Seven days out, we'll keep you updated. Most Thank you, Jonathan. You got it. Well,